Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. Today we're talking about one of the, it's been called the gaudiest birds in North America. Uh, it, it's truly a beautiful bird, that's for sure, and that's the wood duck. This is a male wood duck, uh, and it's a primarily southern duck in, in, in this country, but it, they've expanded over the years, and they are now we get, they're up in the, in the, to the northern states as well. But they are a fascinating bird. Uh, they are cavity-nesting ducks, and they are often called tree ducks because they do spend a lot of time up in trees. I remember years ago leading a bird hike um, at, at Bur Oak Woods and in Blue Springs, and the very first bird we had in the morning was a pair of wood ducks sitting up in a huge oak tree. Uh, they were, and of course, seeing a duck in a tree is somewhat baffling to people, but this is a bird that can be seen there. And they do nest in uh, cavities, uh, could be old woodpecker cavities, but more often it's a, a where a limb has broken off of a tree and created a, 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 a dead area in the tree limb, and they usually nest in places like that. Um, and, but they also do well with man-made nest boxes, and we have a uh, an example of a wood duck box here, have it out so you can see the size proportionally how they're, they're big nest boxes, that's for sure. Um, and they also, you can see, they don't have a perfectly round hole. This is kind of an oblong hole, it's four inches, but it's also oriented flat like this because ducks, how that's how ducks are shaped, they're flat. And so it's easier for them to get in and out of that nest hole. Um, uh, they generally like to nest over water, but they will nest as far as a mile from water. And they, and they will march those babies whenever the babies hatch and fledge and they jump out of the tree uh, they're down to the ground. The, the females will march them up to a mile uh, uh, to the nearest water, It'd be it a creek, a stream, a river, or a, a pond, a lake. Um, they can watch them. I remember driving down I-70 one day, and a whole family of wood ducks came walking across the interstate, and, and I sure hope they made it. I mean, I slowed down and let them pass, but, you know, whenever you got 70-mile-an-hour cars coming by, you know, that can be very treacherous for them. So putting the, the, the nest boxes over water is a great idea. When I worked at Fort Bragg, I monitored several nest boxes on uh, small ponds and beaver ponds we had on the property, and we would, uh, you know, paddle out to them, and we could check the boxes uh, that way. And of course, that makes them a bit safer from raccoons and things like that. Um, if you mount them on, in a tree or on a tree in a forest, you're likely to get squirrels in them, uh, and they're more easily raided by uh, by raccoons. On a pole with a raccoon baffle on it is a, is a good idea um, uh, if you're going to place it. But over water and, and usually in shallow water where there's tree standing timber so back in the sloughs of a pond or a lake are the better places for them rather than out in the open but uh we there you can get good success with a good wood duck box now let's see i was going to show you a couple of examples here of uh, uh, here we go um the we you know that was a gaudy male um this is a female with a uh, with three little ducklings that she's swimming with there Here's another uh, good female picture. She's up in a tree. Uh, we, we, we were just talking about earlier. So wood ducks are amazing. Here's another uh, picture of the female. That big white around the eye like that, a teardrop shape is a good indication of her. If you don't see him, and he, this is a male up in a tree, uh, he can't be mistaken for any other duck, that's for sure, with, with all of his colors. Beautiful picture there. And that's the one that we started with some courtship behavior going on there between the male and the female. And they are just now starting to return. They do tend to migrate uh, to the more open water of the southern United States, uh, and then they return back to the north in the spring. Now, they're migrating north, and so we'll start to see more and more wood ducks. They are incredibly fast ducks. They're, they're like 30 miles per hour, so they are a very, very fast duck, and they are built for flying through the forest. They actually have shorter wings than most ducks do, because most ducks ducks just fly in wide open country, but the wood duck is is adapted to flying through the forest because you know, that's where they mainly live. They love acorns. One story I have for you is years ago, I had to be at work early when I was working at Fort Bragg, and it was before dawn, um, and I was at stopped at a stoplight in my little hometown, North Carolina, and I saw, at the corner of my eye, I saw this movement in the front yard of, of this house, and I, so I looked over, and it was a flock of uh, wood ducks walking around 
around in these people's front yard under an oak tree picking up little acorns off the ground. And I watched them pick up acorns. And how many people knew those ducks did that? And they were, were there, they, you know, before dawn and uh, the like. So they do eat acorn, but mainly they eat plant matter. So they do uh, understand like 80% of their diet is plant matter and then some insects and things as well in, in aquatic invertebrates. So uh, a fascinating bird, the wood duck, a uh, great idea for a program. Thanks so much for the suggestion. Give us a like, give us a share. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Until then, come by and let's talk birds.